I was tending to the chestnut trees in the forest this morning, clearing around the younger ones to help them to grow and to get more sunshine, and doing different work on a much larger specimen that needs my help to stand up straight and tall. Once I was finished, I made my way over to the Miracle Sisters chestnut tree, which is in blossom right now. I was admiring the blossoms glistening in the morning sunshine. But there's a question in my mind as to whether or not there would be any chestnuts this fall. For even though there is such an abundance of blossoms on this tree, the only other chestnut tree in the forest big enough to produce them is the grandmother tree, which has been dying of the blight for over a decade. Imagine my shock when I went over to the grandmother tree and found that she has blossoms too, on the one and only branch that still somehow manages to cling to life. It is unheard of for a mature chestnut tree to suffer from the blight for so many years and somehow manage to continue. Looking at the bark, or should I say the absence of bark, from the lower part of the tree, going all the way up the trunk, shows just how devastating this disease is to the chestnut tree. And yet look at all of the blossoms. Far overhead the tree is dead, and yet you can still see these blossoms glistening in the sunshine as well. This fall I will be picking chestnuts up off the ground one more time. <laughs>